If you use Aspire software and you create your own custom 3D components, a lot of times you're gonna make components that you want to use across different projects. So the easiest way to do that is to take your custom 3D components that you make and place them inside of the ClipArt library where you can access them across all your different projects. And in this quick tip, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that. And this was from a recent live Q&A that we did inside of my Learn Your CNC Academy community. Okay, Jonas has a question in the chat. After you have done a component, can you then save it as a clip art? Yes, you can. So to save components as clip art, what you want to do is select the component. You can rename it if you like, and we can say Nike. And then this is only for Aspire, but you can right click on it and click export as 3D clip art. And then you choose a folder you want to save it in. I could just save it to the desktop, click save, and now it's saved as a clip art. But if I want it into my clip art library, I could add that in here as well. So I can choose a folder that I want to put it in. Let's say objects and people. And then to add the object in here, what you could do is right click on one of these components, click open containing folder. And that's going to open up this folder here where all these objects are located. And now in your desktop, so if we go back to desktop and find that Nike clip art, we can right click on that copy that, go back to that folder we were just in and paste it in here. And now we have the Nike clip art in here. And this is in the objects in people folder. Now we can close this. And then in here we can see if it updated yet. And there it is Nike clip art. So now if we started a brand new project, that clip art is going to be there no matter what. So start a brand new project, open that up, go to the clip art, go to the same folder we just saved it in, objects and people, scroll down, and there's the Nike clip art. You can just click, drag and drop it, or you can double click on it to make it appear right in the center. And now you can use that for all your projects. And you can also create your own folders by clicking add folder, and this will allow you to make a brand new folder. And that's all for this quick tip. If that helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe for more.